Hello, welcome to my very dark room with my white noise machine going and the dog sleeping right under there. I thought I would do a vlog. My boyfriend is going out of town for like five days, so I'm just gonna be hanging out, me and Sam. I thought it would be fun to see what I'm reading and see if that's a motivating factor in me getting through all of the books that I got out of the library that you saw. Yes, let's see what I can make happen. First off, I am reading The Female Persuasion by Meg Wallitzer. I'm about 140 pages into this one. And then the second thing is not on me, is it? But I'm reading The Awakening by Kate Chopin. I made some headway in that one today because I've really been neglecting it and Tina's been commenting on Voxer and telling us her thoughts. I'm getting back into it and I am maybe 100 pages into that now so I have, I'm almost halfway. And it's going a lot faster, the audiobook is only 4 hours and I'm reading as I'm reading along too. So let's try to finish the awakening and then let's try to read more of the female persuasion and then we'll see what else i get to in the next few days all right it's day two aka friday and i have gotten halfway through the awakening i was listening to it yesterday while i was cooking i think i can finish this either i probably tomorrow i probably will finish this on saturday i'm going to go to work now my boyfriend leaves tomorrow at in the afternoon. We'll see what we get up to today. We were contemplating going to see the RBG documentary that is only around for a short period of time here. So we'll see if we get to do that. So I just got back from the airport, and now I'm all alone. Let's go see if Mr. Sam is doing good, and I'll get back to reading. I've been listening to The Devil in the White City on audiobook on my car rides. I'm not following it along as well as I would like to, but I just got the ebook. Oh, that's, I'm winded. I just got the ebook from the library, so I will try to read and listen at the same time. sleepy baby all right so i finished the awakening and i really liked it still i think i remembered it differently uh parts of it especially the end and now i'm just like devouring criticism about it and just like seeing what was going on in the time and seeing kind of the context behind her writing it and then like what the response was um, people were not about this novel. It didn't reach, you know, it's kind of like classic status until very much later. I'm not going to see if I can watch some basketball, if the game is any good. Just as long as the Warriors don't go to the finals, I'll be happy. Why? Why does this have to be? Why? All right, so a bit of a catch up. It is now Sunday and today I work for a few hours just because they needed somebody extra, so I'm coming to help out. This morning, I finished Degrassi Extra Credit, which is the first Degrassi graphic novel. I actually kind of enjoyed this, just because it was great to be back in those characters' heads, and like the same style of how Degrassi deals with like serious issues is the same way that it is in here. So I do think I'm going to continue reading the series. It was a very quick read, very nice and nostalgic, and I had all the characters that I remember and love, so I like that. I'm also currently about 60 pages into The Astonishing Color of After. And let's see, what else can I talk about? I finished The Awakening last night and I told you guys that. So I am contemplating starting that Nora Roberts book, but I'm also thinking about reading The Accidental Bad Girl and The 57 Bus, which I haven't talked about, but I'm really excited about this book. I just finished watching Tangerine, which I liked, but I didn't like as much as The Florida Project, which is also by the same director. I think The Florida Project just hit me a lot harder, and I really liked the stories and the character better altogether. It still had like the same Sean Baker style, I think, and its humor, and like its 
vulgarness, vulgarity, is that a word? Um, Sam, I'm trying to record. What's Mr. Sam up to? Hmm? What are you thinking? I think I'm going to DNF this book. It's not doing it for me, I'm sad to say, and 166 pages in, I think it should be doing it for me. It's a genre from Japanese Both literature parts that of a nutritious is often confessional and feature- Off to the dog park we go, right Sam? Sam Sam! Yeah. Complete. Are you a happy doggy now? You're a happy doggy now. <laughs> a tired happy dog. So I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. I'm just gonna move it down. There you go. And then back. Oh, uh -huh. both sides. Uh -huh. okay. Both sides. And I'm gonna go out to the side. There you go. Tonight is exceeding all of my expectations. I am honestly having a blast. Okay. I thought I should catch you up and talk a little bit more about some of the things in this vlog. I'm currently editing it. So I really enjoyed the RBG documentary. If you read The Notorious RBG though, the book that I've talked about on my channel before, it's basically the book into documentary format. They even have like the authors on there um, and lots of other cool people too. But yeah, I really liked it and I think like it was the first time my boyfriend got to hear about the RBG story and I still cried at everything that had to do with RBG and Marty, her husband, because they are like truly an old TP um, and truly like a very compatible and like give and take kind of relationship where they both helped each other out and it's just it's lovely and if you have not read the Notorious RBG the book you definitely should. I was watching The Bachelorette yesterday and it was fine but then I went on Reality Steve and totally spoiled myself because that's the way I roll with The Bachelorette these days and The Bachelor. Um, like I cannot, I don't care <laughs> and I just want to know like what happened um, and it makes it fun too because I can kind of see how the editors are like portraying it and who ends up being like the final two um so yeah that's what I ended up doing last night now it is Tuesday and today I'm really hoping to read more of the accidental bad girl I read about 50 pages yesterday and honestly I am really liking this book it's giving me like Veronica Mars vibes in like the humor and like the hijinks that the main character is getting into to like try to see what's going on the mystery and then I stopped reading the astonishing color of after just because it was it's very heavy and I'm, I'm kind of in a different mood right now where I want something a little bit lighter and that's why I'm, I think I'm enjoying the accidental bad girl so much so I will get back to um, the astonishing color of after in the next few days I do have it out on audiobook it's not that it's bad I'm just not in the headspace for it at this at this exact moment and then I'm also listening to the devil in the white city and I'm probably two-thirds done with that one so I can probably finish it in the next couple days but I'm not like rushing through it I think I have like four hours left on the audiobook I don't think the audiobook narrator is great I'm reading this book because I always thought that it was like one of those nonfiction books that you have to read and it's just like so beloved and so many people have read it and liked it but I do think like I'm not as interested in the subject matter like the the whole idea of the fair is cool but I don't actually care about like seeing step by step how the fair developed and happened so I think that's why I'm not like super in love with it and I think I actually enjoy more like the home side of it and the series killer side of it. Eric Larson is very like quiet about what is going on. He does not really give you any hints. He has not really gone into like any of that. Um, so I'm really excited to see the end of the book because I think at the end like they go through like everything that the serial killer did. So I, I kind of just want to know. I'm definitely like liking it but I it's not the best nonfiction book that I've ever read and I think it just has to do with the subject matter and me not caring as much about that subject. So yeah that's all my thoughts about all the books I've been reading in this vlog to catch you up because I feel like this my vlog has been kind of a mess of random clips but yeah and other bad news the NBA finals are back to the Cavs and the Warriors so 
who cares about the NBA these days. So I think this is where I'll end the vlog because I don't actually foresee myself like actually finishing anything in the next day. So I'll let you know what I think like in finality about all of the things that I mentioned here in a future wrap up. Thank you so much for watching my vlog and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.